guys, how are you doing? Hopefully you guys are all nice and toasty. It is finally 50 degrees here in Georgia. Well, 60, 50, 60, and that is freezing to me. So here we are to talk about the Hoka Bondi SR. Okay, so Hoka finally did it. They created a shoe that is slip resistant. And this has been tested against industry standards. It's been tested on water, soap, and oil. So you aren't slipping around while you're at work. So this shoe has a couple of notable features. It's got a very comfortable leather upper and um, a very comfortable padded tongue for comfort. Nice padded heel for also for comfort, but most importantly it has full length EVA uh, length midsole, which is gonna give you that notable Hoka cushioning that it's famous for. And of course the nice and grippy slip resistant outsole, which will give you all the tractions that you need. So this shoe would be for the person that works in the kitchen as a server, work in the medical field where there's a lot of blood, a lot of blood, a lot of soap, a lot of everything, a lot of wet surfaces. This is the shoe that you would want. And it auto, auto, it also has a water resistant upper, which again will help with those fluids that you may become in contact with while you are at work. So it has a four millimeter drop, which is just the heel to toe ratio. It's only raised about four millimeters, which most Hoka's are around four or five. I am going to try this on and I'm gonna tell you how it fits and how it feels. So let's go. I gotta say, I'm not even standing, and this feels freaking amazing. It feels a little short. Why does it feel short? Okay. All right. It's definitely got a roomy toe box, that's for sure. So when your feet start swelling, well, guess what? They'll have room to swell, and it won't hurt. Pretty soft, pretty sturdy. Can definitely fill the early stage meta rocker. So I had to do more than just try it on. So here is me practicing my fast paced waitress walk. I know looking at this shoe, you might be apprehensive because of how much shoe there's going on, but there's actually really good stability and traction. Next, I'm checking for fit. You always want a thumb width between you and your longest toe. These do fit true to size. And for reference, I'm a size eight. Are we okay? We don't know. Okay. Okay, so I have them on and I gotta say, they are very soft, but they're not too soft. They do feel um, actually kind of supportive in the arch, which will feel good, um, especially for those working 10, 12 hours, you know who you are. We were probably watching this video for the exact reason. Um, it's very comfortable. The shoe fits, it's, it's, it's a little wide in the toe box, but it fits nice in the midfoot, which is in this area, toe box, midfoot. Um, like there's plenty of room for your feet to swell in these, which your feet will swell when you're on your feet that much. Um, they're very cushiony, but not too cushiony, like I said. And this doesn't feel like um, the, uh, the Bondi running shoe. It feels similar, but it feels more um, what's what I'm thinking for? A uh, sturdy, more durable. It feels like a more durable shoe because it is leather upper, 
with the um, with the rubber outsole as well. So I feel like this will be a bit more durable, especially for those type of service industries or medical field type jobs. I mean, like it's it's comfortable. I mean, I used to be a waitress. I was a waitress from 16 to 18 and I wore terrible shoes. I just got whatever I could from Target and um, got some slip resistant shoes, wore that shoe for three years, and I got arthritis in my knee, which have you, which if you watch my channel, uh, you notice that I am constantly dealing with knee issues. So if I would have worn a better shoe back in those days, I would probably be a whole new person right now. But you know, you live and you learn. That's why you're watching this video for me to help you. So. I think this is worth it. It is an investment. The shoe is not cheap. This uh, retails for about 160. Um, I know people don't want to drop that kind of money on a shoe like this, but from a person who's already been through that and uh, wore terrible shoes on her feet for hours and hours, and I'm already and I already suffered with arthritis at a really young age, um, I think this is a better investment than a huge doctor bill. Trust me. All right, guys. So that's the review on the new Hoka One, Hoka One One Bondi SR. Um, it's a win. I mean, it looks a little expensive, but I think it is worth the investment. You are worth the investment. So invest in yourself. You only get one pair of feet, so take care of them. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, please drop them down below. Um, if you would please like this video and also please subscribe um, and let me know what you want to see next. I mean, these are actually getting more comfortable and comfortable as I wear them. So it's probably going to be hard to take these off, but these do look pretty ridiculous with skinny jeans. Um, will look great with scrubs and or um, black work pants. So bye guys, stay safe and I'll see you later.